I'm going to start sitting in cross legs and if sitting in cross legs is uncomfortable for you, just sit yourself up on a cushion or on a block. I'm going to bring the left leg around, in, around behind the body. So tuck it in behind the sitting bones and bring the right shin bone up so it's parallel or in line with the front edge of the mat. It's natural for the left sitting bone to lift up and off the mat as you start to fold forward. And if the body wants to take you out to the right a little, just go with that. Soften the body as much as you can here. So use the breath to release any tension on the exhalation. Over time, you may find that you can move from your hands down to your forearms, or even from your forearms down, resting your head on your forearms as a cushion. Take the breath down into the belly here. So feel the expansion of the abdomen as you inhale. And allow your whole body to soften and relax as you exhale. Slowly and mindfully start to bring yourself up to your hands. And just move really slowly as you bring the left leg around in front. You're going to extend the left leg out in front and take the sole of the right foot to the inner side of your left thigh. Really press down through the sitting bones to lift your spine up as you stretch the waist all the way to the fingertips. And then soften your left leg as you start to fold forward. And just take the hands down to the mat on either side of the left leg. And as you inhale, really lengthen the spine up and away from the pelvis. Make sure you're not loading into the lower back. And over time, you might be able to creep the fingers forward, but it's more about lengthening the spine away from the pelvis than getting your head down onto your leg. Keep that left leg soft. I actually find you get a better stretch, or I get a better stretch, uh, when that knee is kind of bent and the left toes face up towards the sky. You can slowly start to back out of the posture now, walking the hands back, lifting the spine. And then bring that left leg either just in front back into cross legs or you can come into half lotus if you like just do it mindfully and then again this just start to take the hands forward maybe just hands on the mat or coming down to the forearms you can stack your fists and bring the forehead down to the hands if you have the mobility or even forehead down to the hands but it's okay if you just stay on your hands as well it's important here just to work with your own body, you never want to push the body, so we're just softening the body in this practice, relaxing as much as possible, we're working mindfully and using the breath. And slowly start to walk the hands back now, lifting the spine up, getting ready now for the other side, taking the right leg back tucking the foot in behind the sitting bones and then bringing that left shin bone up parallel or in line with the front edge of your mat. And slowly just placing the hands down on the mat in front of you, that might be enough for you. And again, naturally the right sitting bone may lift up off the mat, or it probably will. And it's okay if the body wants to take you out to the left, just go with it. Option to stay on the hands or to come to the forearms or rest the forehead on the forearms. It's not about how deep you can go in this posture or how close you can get to the ground. What matters is the quality of your breath. And so we breathe down into the belly. The belly expands as we inhale. And as we exhale, just allow the whole body to relax, become passive in this posture. deep conscious breathing, 100% on what you're actually doing, as you mindfully start to lift your spine up, and gently bring that right leg around in front, and take the sole of the left foot to the inner side of your right thigh, so the right leg is extended out in front, and the foot is flexed, 
As you inhale, lift the arms up, stretch the spine up and out of the pelvis. And then soften the right leg as you take the hands down to either side of the right leg, really lengthening the spine forward. More focus on really lifting the spine up and out of the pelvis than just trying to get down to the leg. And again, softening that right knee or even just bending it. You'll still get some length if you continue to lift the spine up and away from the pelvis. The inhalation lengthens the spine forward and as you exhale, you can soften into the posture. And keep the breath moving. And as we breathe deeply, it allows the body to receive the practice. And slowly start to lift yourself up now. And then bringing that left, uh, the right leg, sorry, just in front of the left leg or into half lotus if that's natural for you. And then slowly again starting to come forward either just to the hands or to the forearms. Maybe stacking the fists and resting the forehead. Eventually maybe even placing the forehead on, on the earth but again no hurry and no pushing to get the head to the floor. Just feeling the extension, feeling the stretch through the back of that right glute, maybe the hamstring, anywhere through the pelvis. And taking the breath down deep into the lower abdomen, maybe even breathing down into the pelvis. Big deep inhalations and long slow exhalations, allowing the full body to soften. Taking your time, lifting the spine up, slowly, mindfully walking the hands back. And just take a moment to sit here and feel the body, feel the practice, the residue, the practice in the body. Observe the breath moving in and out of your body. go and find a wall now and so any wall where you can stick your legs up the wall Viparita Karani super nourishing posture you can come in sideways and just scoot around bum and legs will extend up the wall depending on your hamstrings you may be able to bring the, the bum right up to the wall and whatever feels better you can have the feet the legs together or just hip width apart Place the hands on the belly and just breathe down into the belly. You feel the gentle rise and fall of your belly as you breathe and feel the spinal column connected to the earth. Feel this sense of anchoring here, really grounding posture. Feel the eyes fall back into the eye sockets. Soften the lips and relax your tongue. Relax your jaw, your shoulders. Option to just keep the legs here. If you're feeling super comfy, you don't have to move. If you feel like you would like to move, you can just gently take the legs out wide. Don't take it right to your edge. Just take the legs out wide so you can feel that lengthening through the inner legs. And keep the breath moving down to the hands, down to the very lower abdomen even, or maybe even down towards the pelvis. And all of your awareness, all of your attention is on what you're doing, it's on the breath. You can stay here for as long as you like. When you're ready, you can gently bring your legs together. And then move really slowly as you pull your knees towards your chest. Take your time, rolling out to the right. And spend a few breaths here. Connect with the ground beneath you. And give the weight of your body to gravity.
can, you can spend as long as you like here, which is the benefit of doing yoga online. Nowhere to go, nowhere to be. Otherwise, when you're ready, you can bring yourself slowly up to sit. Just spend a moment of gratitude here for the practice and for yourself for creating this space today. Namaste. Thank you for joining me.